Welcome to Mercher, a content monetization platform allowing you to create, market, and sell your own merchandise collection with no inventory, no risk, and an unbeatable catalog of products. Whether you're looking to launch your merch store from scratch or connect your existing Shopify or WooCommerce store, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll be walking you through building your store up from scratch through our built-in web store generator. If you've got your own Shopify store that you'd like to connect, then check out the link in the description below to watch our other video. Now, time to get started. Firstly, make your way over to Mercha.com and click the sign up button at the top right of the homepage. This will take you to a registration form. And once you've filled in the required details and chosen a secure password, you'll receive a confirmation email. Once you've confirmed your account, you'll be ready to start setting up your store. Now that you've made your account, you'll see a window titled Get Started on the bottom right, listing the three steps that you'll want to follow to get things going. Go ahead and click on the first, Create Your Store. You'll be redirected to this page, prompted with the three options. Mercher Hosted Store Package, Connect a WooCommerce Store, and Connect a Shopify Store. Go ahead and click on the first option. Here you'll choose all the options for your store, like its URL, name, currency, as well as a basic structure and design, such as a logo, header layout, and the store's overall color scheme. Once you've put all of that together, go ahead and hit publish. Simple as that. You now have a live online store. As you can see, once you've published your store, you're prompted with the option to create your first product while it goes through the finishing touches. Let's go ahead and click that button. It's time to put your first product together. The page defaults to showing a preview on all the products of the logo you selected for your store, but you can remove the preview by clicking the button next to it. For our first product, we'll start from scratch. Firstly, you want to choose a product. Everything from cushion covers to backpacks, water bottles to baby bibs are available for you to customize and add to your store. Under each item, you can see how much the product will cost to print and produce. Now, let's go ahead and select one to customize. As you can see, this proceeds to a much more extensive customization area where you'll be able to truly channel your creativity into the product with everything you would expect from a fully fledged design interface. Here, you'll compose the final design for your product, tying everything together so it's ready to hit the virtual shelves. There's a lot at your disposal and new features are always being added, so be sure to make use of it. For this product, let's say I'm creating a merch store for a band's latest tour. Firstly, I'm going to add the logo onto the water bottle. Luckily, because we use the same image for our store logo, it's already here in my uploads. Clicking it adds it to the design area. Let's position it in the middle, resize it slightly, and then add some text, which I want my fans to be able to personalize. This feature is great for letting customers add their own personal touch, especially if it's a gift for someone. Firstly, I wanna make sure it's in the correct place, sized nicely and with my chosen font. I'll let them know that they can personalize it by changing the text to say, your name, before clicking the option here to enable the feature. You can see it puts a green box around it, so I know it's editable on the storefront. One feature that's really neat is if you upload a compatible file or choose one of the graphics already here, like this one, you can change the individual colors directly in the designer. And this is really useful if you're putting the design onto a product of the same color, so you can adjust it to show up more clearly. Anyway, happy with the design? Time to finish creating the product. Before moving on, you can click the save icon to store your design under a unique name. Don't worry though, it will auto save if you don't. Go ahead and click on next step in the top right corner. This will take you to the final part of the product creation process. Here, you'll be able to define the details of your products, such as their title, description, and how much you'll be selling them for. Alongside that sale price, you'll also see the cost of the item itself, along with any platform fees, as well as your profit per sale, which will update in real time as you increase or decrease the selling price. Shipping gets charged on top, but with our hosted stores, this gets passed onto the customer by default. Underneath, if the product has different variations, such as colors or sizes, 
you can click show variant options to open them. Here you can choose which one should be the main image, easily disable certain variations from appearing on your store, change the order of the variants, and also change individual pricing if you wish. This is the last step before publishing your product, so it is good practice to double check that everything is to your liking. If you need to change anything on the design, well, just click the button found at the bottom of the page. Either way, this could be updated later if necessary as well. If everything is in place and good to go, click on that publish button and hit the market with your new product. Now your store is fully set up, your first product is published, the only essential step left is establishing a payment method through which to receive your profits. But before we get to that, let's check out this neat little feature called bulk adding. After publishing your product, you'll have noticed that you'll get a prompt with two options, close and create more products. If you click on the latter, it will bring you back to the first step of the product creation process. The products will show a preview of your latest design, and you can even change it with this handy drop down menu. You'll also see that if you select multiple products at once, you can bulk add them all to your store. You'll then be brought to a review page on which you can individually choose to edit each product. Once the details of each one of them are to your liking, you can proceed to publish them to your store all at once. Once your product has been published, which can sometimes take a few minutes, it's time to see what you've just created. So if you head on over to the stores section on the left hand sidebar, you'll be taken to a page displaying your current active stores. Go ahead and click on the link for the one you've just created. And now you can take a peek at all of your latest live products. What you're seeing now is what a customer will see when they visit your store. The page is cleanly divided into a general shop section, a categories drop down menu, a delivery section that explains our policy and availability, and a contact section through which they can reach out with any questions or concerns. It also comes with the ability to filter by price or search for specific products. If you go ahead and select one of the items displayed, you'll see just how easily they are personalized to each customer's taste. Once ready, your customer can easily add it to their basket before being taken through the seamless checkout experience to finalize their order. And the best part is, thanks to Mercher's automated processes, there's nothing more you need to do when you receive an order. When an order comes in, we print the products on demand and send them straight out to your customer. You can track everything on the orders page of the hub, which you can get to from the left hand menu. Here you'll be able to enjoy an overview of your orders with all the important details clearly laid out in front of you, including a clear presentation of the profit that you've made. No hassle, no logistics, and no worry when it comes to the actual delivery of the product itself. We take care of that entire portion of the equation so you don't have to. Last but not least, getting paid. Click on getting started in the bottom right corner and select the third and final option of the process, add payment details, which will take you to the payment settings page. Here you'll be met with an overview of the financial aspect of your account, organized per store if you have multiple set up within your account. At the top, you'll find your earnings. Beneath that, you'll find your saved cards. You don't actually have to add a card to your account as it will only come into play if, for whatever reason, you opt to sell at a loss, say free giveaways for example, in which case you'll need to add one to cover production costs. Lastly, at the bottom you'll find two one-time prompts for bank account verification, requesting identity documents and bank documents respectively. And once you fill these out, Mercher will be able to send your profit directly to your account. And you're set. Your store is up and running, ready to go with all the products that you've published so far, as well as primed to take on however many more you can throw at it. Your payment systems will soon be in place as well, allowing for the seamless transfer of funds directly into your account. I'll say it again, welcome to Mercher. We're excited to work with you and are looking forward to helping you take your business to the next level.